guys. Well, today I'm going to start pulling the top end off this laser. Because um, I've got to do the head gasket, and I'm going to do a few other bits and pieces while I'm at it. To start with, I'll just get this air filter housing completely off so I can see what's got to actually be removed. Oh, I've got a bit of stuff pulled off now. The air cleaner housing, um, the exhaust injection, which is a stupid idea. It makes the emissions reading look lower by pumping exhaust gas back into the inlet. So I could block it off, but then the car's illegal if I get pulled over, so we'll leave that connected back up. Surprisingly, I've got all the bolts out of the heat shields out without snapping them, so that's a good start anyway. Might start on this exhaust manifold next. Has had a reconditioned engine at some stage, but I'd say it was a fair while ago. Exhaust manifold's off now. I knew it had a bit of an exhaust leak when I did have it running, and that's all that's left of the gasket that goes on down there. It explains that problem. The actual manifold gasket that goes to the engine looks alright, but I'm not going to reuse it, I'll get a new one. So I think maybe next we'll do the inlet manifold and then hopefully a few minor wires and shit to the distributor but get this timing belt off and should be right just to unbolt everything. See how that goes. Okay, so the head's off with some minor stuffing around. Um, block looks alright. There's only oil in those two cylinders because it tipped out of the head as I pulled it off. There's a lot of oil up top. But... So, hasn't had a lot of water in the cylinders, mainly in number two here. It's a bit cleaner than the others. And maybe number three here. I found the reason why the head gasket's blown, um, which I'll show in a second. Now, this water pipe that goes down the thermostat housing did, was a bit longer. It's a steel pipe, rubber o-ring goes on it and then it just gets pushed in, bolt off the exhaust manifold, holds it in. Um, that's rusted away, so someone packed it full of silicon and jammed it in there, tighten up the bolt. I'm going to fix this pipe by soldering a bit of household copper pipe, make about that long, onto there, fit it back as normal, shouldn't have a problem. Um, let's go and have a look at the head gasket. It has been leaking between all four cylinders, so explain the piss poor running. We've got the head gasket here. Now, we have the easy to look at the bottom side. This water gallery here was completely blocked off with silicon. But as you can see, these dark areas here is where it's been leaking. And it's also been leaking into these two water galleries as well. So hopefully, the head isn't warped. I can just take it in, have it faced. Clean the block up as much as possible, put new gasket in there. I'm going to get a full valve regrind set, but I'm not going to put the valve stem seals in just yet because ports look pretty dry and the engine was rebuilt not that long ago, so I'm not going to go into that extent. I will reset the tappets before putting it all back together. Um, the timing belt looks okay. Hopefully I can get that back on without damaging it. Um, idler feels fine, no play in it, so I won't bother spending the extra money for that just yet. Yeah, hopefully it's just a simple, have the head machined off and um, clean the block, slap it all back together and fix this water pipe at the bottom here. Um, unfortunately I had to cut one of the emissions tubes that use it, does that um, exhaust gas return. It was just stuck in the exhaust manifold too much, so I've cut it off at a point where I can block both ends of it up and we'll just somehow make it look original. Thanks for watching. Hold it here after cleaning out the cylinders. Three of them have had water in them so hopefully the head's not too bad. It doesn't look cracked but I don't really know what I'm looking for. Anyhow, we'll get it cleaned up and something sorted out. It is 50 thousandths of an inch oversized so that would make it probably, what is it, 1597 cc originally. So I'm probably make it about 1650 being bought out that much. Thanks for watching.